Mencius was a Chinese Confucian philosopher who has often been described as the second sage, that is, after only Confucius himself. Mencius' father passed away when he was a child, thus he lived with his mother during his childhood. Initially, Mencius and his mother lived near a cemetery. In the cemetery, people mourned for the losses of their loved ones. The little Mencius observed these scenes every single day. Consequentially, Menchi started to build small graves with soils and stones. Then, he imitated the actions and expressions of people who entered the cemetery to visit the loved ones for fun. When Menchi's mother noticed his behavior, she was shocked. She realized that this environment had brought a bad impact to her son. Thus, she decided to move to a new place with her son. Next, Mencius and his mother moved to a place near a meat market. There, many butchers killed poultry to sell it. Mencius watched butchers killing animals and cutting meat every single day. Gradually, Mencius became obsessed with creating small animals with soils and stones. After he made several animals, he killed them and cut their meat with a knife as the butchers did. What's more, he even brandished his knife in the streets asking people to buy their meat by shouting and yelling at people. When Menchia's mother observed this, she decided to move to a better place again for her son. Finally, Menchia's mother took Menchia's to a place near school. The students in the school love to read and study. They are not only knowledgeable but also polite to everybody. After moving to the new place, Menchia's learned many playmates who are students in the school. Mencius saw these students' etiquette when they greeted people every day. He was also attracted by the students' voices when they were reading books. After playing with these knowledgeable students, Mencius became a polite kid who also loved reading and studying. He was even thirsty for going to the school and studying there. When Mencius' mother noticed Mencius' new behavior, she was very happy with it because her son finally learned some good behaviors in his new environment. Later, as it is known to all, Mencius became a famous philosopher under his mother's efforts.